Welcome back to WP Easy Cart. In this video tutorial, we're going to walk through how to create your first product option sets. Uh, in our previous videos, we walked through how to install Easy Cart and how to set up your first product. Uh, in this case, we have our demo data installed. Uh, but let's take a look at how you can create some option sets. That's usually one of the first things people like to try to do. They want to have customized products, uh, products that let users select size. For example, this is a shirt size. Uh, you want to be able to capture some information on your product and EasyCart has a huge array of option sets from text boxes to drop downs, check boxes. And so let's take a look at how to do that. Uh, we're going to jump back over here to our admin and there's two ways to do it. There's a simple way and there's an advanced way. Uh, both of them you may need to know how to access. And so let's take a look at the first method. Uh, if I just go ahead and open up one of my products, uh, and let's say this is a coat, and I go down to option sets. So we're going to open up this panel. Now <clears throat> we have two different types of options in EasyCart. We have basic option sets, and basic option sets are, can only be two things. They can be drop downs or they can be image swatches and you can only have five of them. Uh, we also have what are called advanced option sets and those can be much more configurable. They can be text boxes, they can be file uploads, they can be check boxes, they could be um, radio groups. Uh, we have a lot more advanced options. So <clears throat> the main difference here is that if you want to track uh, quantities, for example, how many shirt colors you have, how many reds, how many blues, how many greens, if you if you plan to use option quantity tracking, then you need to use basic options. If you want to get away from that and you're okay with having a highly configurable option set, but maybe not track quantities, like file uploads, you just can't track quantities. So those would be advanced options. And what you can do, the easy way is to use our quick option creator up here. And that just brings out a slider and you can simply use a pull down. Now I have basic option sets here, uh, so I'm going to say either a combo or a swatch. And that's all you can do. So I'm just going to say this is going to be shirt size. Uh, and this will be select a shirt size. That'll be the label. And I can create the option set. Now it wants the option item. Maybe a small. What extension will happen in the model number if you want to use that. You can also do price adjustments. And you can simply hit create another. And then maybe I'm going to do medium. MD for it create another and maybe I'll do large and that's all you have to do I've created an option set now it has three choices so I'm going to go ahead and close that and you'll see in your pull down here I have my option called shirt size okay and that's just the first option set so I'm going to go ahead and update this and if I take a look at my product, this is what product? A demo coat. So I'm going to go back to my store. And I'm going to open up my denim coat. And you can see I have an option set here for small, medium, and large. Okay. So very simple to do, so very simple to create. Now, the more advanced method is not to go just here to option sets but you can actually open up the full option manager okay and this is the same as going over here on the left to option sets so same place you can find it several different ways and you can see the actual option set that we created I can edit that option set this is a, saying it's a basic combo I could change that. I could make it a different style. For example, maybe I want to make it a basic swatch. And if I save that, 
I've now changed this option set to a different style and if I come back and refresh my product you can see they're now swatches okay now let's take a look in, at the actual items inside of it and that's where you can ed edit the option items either right here with this button or over here with this little icon and these are the actual items inside of the option set so small medium large you can see we're doing swatches now maybe you want to have custom swatches this is where you can actually edit the option item this is small you can change the sort order you can upload custom images you can change the price and so I'm gonna upload my own custom image here and I've created these in Photoshop these are just simple little swatches this little square S and I'll go ahead and save and I'll do that for medium and for large so I've got these custom little icons that I can use this makes it great if you wanted to use color for example uh, you can have different color swatches so people can pick uh, from you know red green blue and actually see colors uh, you can get real fancy with custom icons like this uh, for size and I'll save those and so now I've got a basic swatch three choices with custom images and so if I come back and I refresh you can see now I've got these custom little icons okay yeah you can also do price adjustments for example uh, maybe I want large and it's going to cost an extra twelve dollars if they choose that option and so this is a plus or minus it will get added to your original price and so if we come back and refresh my product you can see I can pick small or medium and the price stays but if I click on large it goes up twelve dollars per item so you can have price adjustments on there as well now let's go back to our option sets okay again over on the left menu is option sets this is the full editor these are basic options uh, another way to think of this is uh, is our option sets are separate from the products and the reason we do this is for example if you have 200 shirts you don't want to have to go into 200 shirts if you for example get an extra large you just want to be able to go into the option set shirt size add extra large to this section and it would automatically happen on 200 products that's why we keep the option sets separate from the actual products themselves and you attach the options to a product that you want so that might give you a little better understanding of why they're over here in their separate area and so let's say for example I'm going to create a new option <clears throat> again we can pull this down and these are all the different advanced styles we have we have text input fields uh, we've got text areas we've got check boxes and file uploads we have quantity grids dates these are dimensional um, they're very special uh, option sets combo boxes if you just want a simple drop down um, let's take a look at just a simple text input field uh, let's just call this uh, name and we'll say please enter a name and option URL variable I'll just say NM you can specify whether or not you want this advanced option to be required and you can give it an error message if you're requiring it so I'm going to go ahead and save this and so I've created it now I need to go inside of this text input and when you go inside in here you'll notice it's a text input box that wouldn't necessarily have different options under it it would just be an actual input box so let's take a look at what that looks like when we go back to our product I'm going to open up this same denim coat. 
I'm going to go to option sets and instead of using these five basics I'm going to go ahead and slide on my use advanced options now this is only available with our professional or premium and you can see I can see my advanced option text box and I'll just add it to my product and that's all there is to it okay so now we should have a text box attached to this and here it is if a user tries to add it without filling it out we made it required uh, I'll just say my wife Michelle and you can add that to the cart and now you're collecting information from the user in a text box the nice thing about advanced options is they're unlimited so you can actually have as many options as you want when you go advanced and we also have conditional logic so that you can hide and show them we're going to do that in a separate video we just wanted to be able to show you how to create option sets we've got five basic option sets or you can slide on the advanced options and use uh, as many option sets here as you like and again there's two methods just so you remember there's the quick option creator over here okay and if you're creating an advanced option, you got a whole bunch more choices. Or if you like, you can go over to the left menu under option sets and you're able to go ahead and create and build all the options that you want here and then go to your product and attach them to your product. So hopefully that helps you create option sets um, and get started. There's a lot more there that we can cover in other videos uh, and we'll do that. So next we're going to take a look at how to organize and categorize your products.